Nick Jamerson and the Morning Jays were in town Friday evening to play as the first official headlining act for Pikeville's newest music venue, The Great Hall. We caught up with Jamerson during soundcheck just before the concert to ask what the moment meant to him. It's pretty surreal, honestly. I, I got my start playing out in Pikeville probably uh, 16 years ago, 16, 17 years ago, the old Champs building, which is the the first Broken Throne location, so uh, it's just, like I said, it's really surreal. This feels like a really full circle moment of, of a lot of hours spent traveling and to have a place like this now within reasonable driving distance of my house, it feels really good. When asked what he feels is the difference between the local music scene and those in larger cities, Jamerson shared his thoughts as well as the names of some talented local acts. There's people getting out and I think shopping local and uh, putting your money back into your community, um, getting out and supporting each other and um, these artists that have, there's so many great singer-songwriters around here. I'm part, I feel like a super group, you know, it's Nicholas Jamerson and the Morning Jays, but my bass player, Jordan Allen, he's, he's the lead singer of his own band, Jordan Allen and the Bellwethers, which they'll be here next week playing. Uh, my keys player and uh, fiddle player, they're brothers, uh, Brother Smith, that's a good band. Grayson Jenkins, Abby Hamilton. There's a group called Mirrored Image that's, uh, you familiar with those guys? Uh, Jake Ratliff and Jake plays with a lot of different bands. Lay Pack Country Picker, Luna and the Mountain Jets. Wayne Graham, that's one of my favorite bands. They're from over in Whitesburg. I could really go on and on. It's really amazing the people that are putting music out and, um, that have been for a long time. It's, I feel like that's, that's why these stages have been built because people like that have gone ahead and made the music and been working on the craft and now I feel like it's time for us to embrace them as a community and give them a, a stage to play on. And Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. I don't think it's about being famous or anything like that. It's just giving people an opportunity to, to be themselves and express themselves and get that, that legitimate sort of experience. Like there's nothing like a stage it's, it's, it's a lot different than being in a corner and kind of having to fight over people. But when you're on a stage, you're under those lights, and I think that's another thing too, is people around here, us, not just the artists or fans, but industry, just recognizing the music industry as a legitimate way of life. I've been able to do this for 10 years, going on 11, 12 years, um, as a full-time musician, and it can be done. I think it's exciting times being here. So uh, just have to keep going, keep doing the work. For Mountain Top News, I'm Joshua Sloan.